Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your monthly reading for November 2022. This is for Scorpio, Sun, and Rising. And if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional culture cross spread. And uh, I use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity to your reading, to get more specific with your reading. And Scorpio, the reason I do this is because A, I love you. And B, I want you to feel like this is a personal reading, like we're here one-on-one -on -one rather than a general spread. Now, Scorpio, first of all, can you believe... Uh, we're already in November. How crazy is that? Secondly, happy birthday, Scorpio. I love you so much. I, listen, if you're a subscriber, you probably get sick of me saying this, but I have so many Scorpio um, friends in that first week of Scorpio. So by the end of that week, like my bank account is like, uh, there's like no money in there because it's a lot of gift giving, but it's worth it. I love my Scorpio friends. I have so many Scorpios in my life and y'all are freaking amazing y'all are so great y'all are so amazing uh listen scorpio november is a big month okay it's a big month especially you know uh and i know it's obvious we don't really think about it but during birthday month our birthday seasons we tend to think a lot about we go deep all right what's next like i mean i'm a year older like we start thinking a lot okay um the here's the thing about you uh scorpio we are still in scorpio season it's all in your first house and we november we have that major 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 full moon uh lunar eclipse in taurus okay scorpio that is going to be your seventh house. And listen, this is going to affect you as much as that eclipse that was in your sign last uh, month because it is on the Taurus Scorpio axis, okay? And so it uh, affects all the fixed signs. But listen, that's in your seventh house of partnerships, all right? So whether work or love, you could see some activity around there, all right? And another thing is that Jupiter uh, will go direct. Jupiter went back into Pisces, and that is your fifth house, okay? Uh, so for the next two months we're we're in that house of pleasure the fifth house is you know both modern and, and ancient astrologers alike i mean it's one of the best they love we all love this house right pleasure love okay romance uh family like children this is uh procreation some of y'all may actually get you know have babies so scorpio let's go ahead and get started with your reading for november 2022 again this is for scorpio sun and rising and if you are new to my channel i do uh leave the key astrological dates in the description box if you do want to follow along now i do a traditional cause of cross spread like i said earlier um I don't do reversals uh, if the shadow side is some a message that is like my guides are urging me to, to talk about it, then yes, of course, that I pick that up. But uh, lastly, stay tuned to the end of the reading because I pull a card a week. This is in addition to uh, the weekly readings that I do for y'all. Um, I love this. You're oh. Uh, this is in addition to the weekly readings I do for y'all, uh, just to give you a little bit more insight because again, November is a loaded month, all right? Uh, as, aside from the first week of November, there pretty much is a big or a minor or major aspect happening every day. This is a big, big, big month. The first two weeks are a little bit, you know, but uh, with the aspects, but it's a big month. Let's just keep it at that. All right. So, and we obviously like on my weekly readings, I go a lot deeper. Now, Scorpio, listen, things have been moving fast for you. Things have been really great for you. I can even see some of y'all haven't been traveling and I love that. You know, there's a lot of enthusiasm and I love that. And thinking about your last few readings anyway, there's, it's there, they've been great. Things, have been good there's a lot of forward momentum now a lot of forward momentum especially you know after september and i know we're in november now but listen in september we had six planets retrograde pluto saturn mercury they started going direct right uh throughout like since then so we're finally i mean mars has gone retrograde but um that's that's a whole other story and that you know that does represent your eighth house so you are going to have to reassess some things but listen uh scorpio hello i mean that's literally like i i feel like 
I don't even have to say any more how that's how powerful this card is. And the fact that the Queen of Wands uh, is in the heart of your spread, meaning this is kind of like the theme of the month, what's going on for November, all right? The Queen of Wands, so charismatic, so amazing, the most popular queen, everyone loves her, okay? And think of her, uh, well, who is it? Who, is there anyone that, I'm trying to think of anyone in any movie or TV show that everyone loves, uh, for some reason, I can't even, uh, maybe, um, Aubrey Plaza in the office, like I, everyone, like that, she was so funny. But anyway, listen, the power to attract whatever you want, that is the queen of wands. This is the power of attraction. This is so much passion. And speaking of enthusiasm, I mean, listen, this is huge, all right? Really, really big. Uh, you are going to be getting the things that you want now, especially looking at the rest of your spread. There's a lot of forward momentum. Uh, November is going to be boom, boom, boom. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. You did get the 10 of pentacles. Okay. In your challenge area. All right. So what I want you to do, Scorpio, is, you know, 10 of pentacles. This is a great card. Okay. This is prosperity and success and, you know, even legacy energy, right? Uh, what I want you to do is because this is and 10 is the completion I would like for you when I said earlier Mars is retrograde I didn't think that I'd have to talk about it in your reading but in your eighth house of endings okay Mars is retrograde in your eighth house the eighth house is ruled by Scorpio uh, I would love for you for this month to think about those things, okay? I want you to think about, take a, t take a step back, okay? And just think about more long-term. What do you want next, okay? Uh, it looks like things are moving fast for you and there is some, and, and you know, there are some, you know, uh, things that are coming to an end now for you and a uh, huge message I'm getting is that I don't even have to say that to you. A lot of Scorpios know this, okay? And it some could have already experienced it. Just some things have, have been ending and new things are coming up. But I really, really, really want you to be open now. And I want you to, uh, especially with your family, all right? I want you to, you know, Thanksgiving's coming up if you're in the U.S. And, you know, just if you do have the chance, go spend time with your family too. That's a message that's coming through. But I really want you to start thinking long-term what's going to bring me that success what's going to bring me that prosperity you know uh i i love this and you know uh i just i love your reading i just want i just want you to think about that a little bit all right so now the chariot in your crown listen the chariot ruled by cancer this is you know i love the chariot i love the fact that it came in your crown you are just so ready to move forward not only did you get the eight of wands you got the chariot okay Boom. The chariot is, this is all about having that self-will, right? Determination to just move forward from any obstacles, okay? And so if you had had any obstacles, the energy that's coming through is like, they were more like speed bumps, right? They were more like speed bumps um, for a lot of Scorpios, okay? But in any case, small or large, whatever they are, boom charging forward okay like the chariot and again i want you to know you listen at this point you're in control okay you see that he's holding the magician's bat baton that we started off with the magician in the you know very first card of the major arcana the trump cards right and so this is you moving forward your passions the things that you want to manifest your dreams like uh all of that and you see the two sphinxes here i mean they are going opposite directions but here's the thing you're in the driver's seat doesn't matter which direction they go You've got this. You've got this. That's amazing. I love this energy for you. I really do. You're just boom. Moving forward, getting what you want now. King of Pentacles. Okay? Um, listen, I call him the Elon Musk of Tarot. Whether you like Elon Musk or not, he is a billionaire like the King of Pentacles. Okay? The richest person. He's the richest king. Uh, king of Pentacles, very humanitarian too. Really cares about the people in his kingdom to the point where he's, uh, you know, if it's just like 
it doesn't matter who it is. If there's a farmer that needs socks, he's like, oh, you need socks? Here you go. Uh, you need food? Here you go. He's got the resources to take care of everybody in his kingdom. But also, listen, this is what you want now. You want that abundance in your world, okay? And you can have it. You can have anything you want. You really have to just, you know, it's the energy levels we keep. It's that determination. It's that drive that you have. It's that passion to just really attract the things that you want. Just, oh my goodness. I love your reading, especially because you got the Ten of Swords in your future. It looks like... Now, first of all, it looks like a grim card, okay? Not gonna lie. It is. He's not... I mean... That's ten swords impaling this young man. I mean, so is he dead? Who knows, right? It, he's definitely not standing on top of a bar dancing, you know, to Scissor Sisters or whatever. He is definitely not in a good place. But here's the thing. What did I say earlier? Ten is the conclusion. Ten is the end of the suit. So clearly you have been going through some things okay let's just keep it as things swords are the mental suit so when i say things up here all right could it be it could be some stress uh not indecision it could be you know even like there could have been some you know betrayal energy clearly he was literally backstabbed right uh so a lot of that energy and so i'm not getting the an, an energy of um, something that was, I'm not getting the energy of like, you, this, like we're, we're going to have to like really pick you up here. I'm getting the energy of more of like, yes, this is the conclusion card, but it is something that y'all again are aware of. Okay. So, um, it's almost like y'all are so psychic at this point. It's so interesting. I'm picking up anyway. Uh, it's over, okay? This is in your future, all right? 10 is the completion. 10, 1, 0 equals 1. New beginning. This. Consider these swords aligning his chakras. Consider this more like a rebirth. You see his hand. Same hand gesture as the Hierophant. Wisdom, knowledge, listen. Those dark clouds, they're clearing. The sun is coming out, okay? And so, uh, you are definitely moving forward in a direction that... I'm happy with looks like you're happy with and it looks like you're going to be happy with because clarified it with the nine of cups this is a card of pleasure this is a card of satisfaction I know that's not a word and I don't know why I said it but you know what I mean right so you can see the cups arranged over his head okay um, spiritual enlightenment all right also kind of like trophies right really proud of where he's at all right really proud but also having that gratitude okay this is the genie in a bottle energy so something that you had wanted is coming true okay you're getting what you want remember not only did you get the queen of wands in the heart of your spread you got the get a wish card wish coming true card in your future Scorpio, this is going to be a month for you. Happy birthday. I love you. Scorpio, let's get to your stuff. Um, if you like this reading, it would be great if you like and subscribe. And leave comments. I know that's... I'm asking for a lot. I'm asking for a lot. But, you know, it does help my channel grow. And I love being here. I love Tarot. I love doing this for y'all. Um, I love your comments. And if you are new, if you are a subscriber... Thank you so much for being here with me every week. You really make my day and you make this so much fun for me. So, um, Scorpio, I have better news for you, okay? Yeah, November is going to be a month for you. Uh, well, it's going to be a month for everyone because it is a month. But um, who am I? Who, who? What's wrong with me today? You got another 10. This is your third 10. So there is a lot of completion a lot of endings this month okay uh this is more of just kind of like uh that energy where you feel like you've worked really hard to a point where uh there's almost a little bit of the energy that i'm getting the message i'm getting is a little bit more like a lot of pride like i got this i don't do i got this like i i i can do this even though it might be a little too much for you um but the good news is whoo 
10 is the end. Remember that you're laying these ones down very soon, okay? So it's very clear as day that you have worked and you've gone through a lot at this point, all right? You've really earned where you're at, okay? So be very proud of yourself, Scorpio. Be very proud of yourself. And even better news. Hello, you got the four ones. All right, uh, listen. Scorpio, I don't make this up. You saw me shuffle the... I mean, I do not make this up. You got the card of uh, celebration, joy. I mean, this is just such a beautiful, beautiful card. I mean, speaking of pleasure, I mean, this is it. This is also milestone energy. You're moving into some sort of big milestone coming up, okay? Has to do with that genie in a bottle energy, the nine of cups, and the power to attract whatever you want with the queen of wands, all right? You're moving into a really, really, really big milestone, okay? Something to celebrate. Uh, it could be... Uh, uh, marriage it could be um, uh, I think I said pregnancy earlier uh, there's something that's major that you're going to be looking forward to okay this came in your external factors area this is amazing okay this is amazing and I love that for you now you did get the eight of swords but you got the eight of swords in an area of your spread the main message that's coming through is like I don't want to be there again okay and so where is it here it is the ten of swords now the eight of swords where it lays in your staff it really is just saying mm, mm, no I do not want to be in this position again because you've been in this position okay we know that we know that with that ten of swords in your future okay just not you know just not being in a really good headspace right just some truth you don't want to confront listen this is a prison okay it's a prison she thinks she built a fortress no because she put herself there this is this uh like the victim card right and so we know you're in a good headspace now you do not want that moving forward you do not want to be in that place again and quite honestly with the ten of swords it really is you know a certain, we go through cycles right but every different experiences all the time every day every week um it really is that uh situation that you'll never actually have to experience again because you've learned from it you've grown from it you understand it now now you got the nine of wands in your final outcome. So this is really, I mean, you had another, well, okay, the nine of cups, but listen, again, for those who are here for career, this is very like resilient energy. You're like, you're, you've been through it. We know this now with the gauze on your head, little muscle dude here. He's like, oof, I've gone through it, but. I can bring it on. I can take more. I can take more. That's why you got the Ten of Wands here, okay? So you got your Nine of Wands up here in the final outcome. So I want you to know that it is all coming to an end. Any of that, just enduring a lot, right? Just having had endured a lot the past few months. It's been those, I mean, come on, these eclipses, boom, they're they're significant and they're impactful. So um, I love that you did get the Nine of Wands up in your uh, final outcome, okay? So you're, you can rest assured you're moving into this new direction of getting what you want. And then you also got the Knight of Cups um, clarifying it. So uh, main message coming through if you're single or if you're in a relationship where it's been a little like rocky or just not like, you know, uh, y'all haven't been seeing eye to eye or there hasn't been that synergy, boom. Knight of Cups, Mr. Prince Charming himself, the knight in shining armor, Antonio Banderas, or whoever you consider your knight in shining armor. Based on my celebrity readings, it's the guy, Sam Hoogan, from um, um, Outlanders. So many people love him, He um, and he had a great spread. But this is new love, okay? that's We'll just keep it at that. If you're not here for love, if you're not here for this reading for love, Oh, first of all, if when I say new love, this is also taking your love to the next level with within a relationship, okay? Uh, if you're not here for love, it's still, he's still in pursuant of the things that he's passionate about that's going to fulfill him emotionally, okay? So it can relate to career as well, all right? It can relate to any, if you're house hunting, hey, that perfect come, but listen, 
you can see the wings of imagination on his helmet and his shoes. So a lot of creative energy there too, uh, especially with, um, like I said, Jupiter having gone back in your fifth house of love. All right. But also the fifth house, like I said, rules creativity too. So let's go ahead. Like I promised, I pull a card a week. Let's see what's going. Oh, boom. Let's see what's going on for you for... Um, the first week of November, now the first week of November, uh, Venus is being a little naughty, all right? So, uh, but, uh, you know, that's just two days of the week. And don't forget, Scorpio, the most important thing of all, Daylight Savings Day, all right? So, you did get the Two of Pentacles. You may have to make a choice at this point, all right? The first week, all right, there's going to be some decision. Could have to do deal with work or finances, but it really is um, the decision. Once you make that decision, it's going to help you move forward. This card, the Two of Pentacles, there's a lot of imbalance energy coming through, um, but... Yeah, there's, there's, it's almost like the uh, message that's coming through. Some Scorpios have been sitting on something for a while. Time to make that decision, all right? So, second week of uh, November uh, is when we do have that full moon, total lunar eclipse, and Taurus. And again, that is going to have a pretty significant impact on you. Uh, again, that that is in your seventh house of partnerships. And you are going to have a very significant eclipse week, okay? You did get the tower card, okay? Now... First of all, I don't want you to be afraid of it, okay? Uh, the, you are not the first, trust me, you are not the first sign to get the Tower card for the second week, for the second week of November, okay? That clip, eclipse, I said, is really big. So there could be some sort of big, life-changing event that happens out of nowhere, okay? But here's the thing. First thing I want you to know. Don't fear the tower card, okay? A lot of people are afraid of it. And because there are, and I'm not, you know, I love the tarot community and I love every, and, and I respect every tarot reader, but some of them, I have seen some videos where they they get it wrong. And, and so they make it out to be this really crazy thing, okay? This is something that just, you know, gives you anxiety. But listen, when you fear the tower card, you're already building a blockage for yourself, okay? So I don't want you to, for anyone to believe that this is the end of the world type of card that some readers may imply, okay? It's not. Every card has a light side. And here, as you can see, the lightning bolt, okay? That's a flash of light. Light is hope. What comes after the tower card? The star, the card of hopes and dreams, okay? So even though... This is something, and here's, you know, if there is a reason why people are afraid of it, it's because, A, people don't like change sometimes, all right? And, you know, Scorpio, you are a fixed sign, so it may, you know, be harder for you to, but uh, secondly, uh, people don't like surprises, okay? I love surprises, but some people don't, and this just comes out of nowhere, so there could be something that happens the second week, uh, and it usually is... A major like let's uh, like it could be like um, you know like a breakup or a divorce or um, it, you know or uh, just think like just it's something significant okay now I'm not saying that's going to happen but what I'm saying is that the tower moment doesn't happen to you it happens for you did you see your spread here everything happens in an order and everything the universe is never the universe isn't out to get you the universe is on your side so sometimes you have to like burn it down and build it up okay that's some that's just how it works you know i always say life isn't a freaking it's not a, 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 a an aladdin movie we all go through challenges we all go through struggles and we all go through th these tower moments because that's how we learn that's how we grow that's how we become better people all right so Third week of November, Scorpio. Listen, that's when every, that's when we start going into Sagittarius season, okay? Venus goes into Sagittarius. Mercury goes into Sagittarius. I want you to mark uh, November 20th on your calendar, Scorpio, okay? Because that's, uh, the sun is trining Jupiter. That is actually the best day of the month. So go ahead and mark it on your calendar. And you did get the Knight of Swords. That's really funny because he, you saw earlier when I was shuffling and he kind of like, flipped out so um that is a big 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 sign okay the fact that he not only did he flip out and wanted to come out but 
Here he is, all right? So the third week, all right? Knight of Swords, I love this too. I love the Knight of Swords so much, all right? Uhtred, son of Uhtred, if you don't get that reference, Jon Snow, Game of Thrones, bold, courageous, just ready to get past the BS and just, you know, go, go, go. Uh, being able to make quick decisions on your feet, like this is great energy, all right? Really, really, I mean, when I talk about forward momentum, that's forward momentum, especially mentally, all right? Remember, the swords are the mental suit. Now, the last week of November, uh, we're officially in Sagittarius season, okay? And that's... Um, uh, sun's officially in Sagittarius. We also have a new moon in Sagittarius on the same day that Jupiter does go direct. And so one thing that I want you to know also, if you do live in the U.S., Thanksgiving Day, great alignment. It's perfect. It's good. All right. You did get the five of swords. Okay. So at this point, the last week of November, there could be something where the five of swords is a um like a challenge card right but it's really not it's more like at this point because there's as i said there's a lot of energy of you just like being proud of like everything that you've accomplished and everything you've achieved um at some point there could be someone that just gets like jealous of you because everything's going your way everything's great um and all this is saying is choose your battles wisely all right you don't have to fight anymore you really don't okay you see everyone else has dropped their swords all right so this is just more like a test of ego right it's all it is is this even worth your is you know is the battle even worth it for you right no it's not look it's not not at all you have so much to look forward to scorpio so scorpio i really love you thanks so much for tuning in i um if you're new to my channel it would be great if you like and subscribe if you're a subscriber you know i love you so much thank you for being here with me every week i will see you next week bye bye